Okay, good morning and welcome to Just Dafit. Daf Yomi Shia. We're learning Yavamos Kofav 106. We'll be completing the 12th parak today. It's pretty darn good. Uh, I think there's 16 Prokim in Yavamos. We only have like 16 Daf left. So we're almost there, we're almost at Masechus Ketuvos. I want to let my audience know that we'll be having a new shear to actually make this Yeshiva's YouTube. I once said on a shear that this is going to be <clears throat> a Yeshiva on YouTube. In fact, there was a, a student who came, uh, who knew my, my in-laws, they were, they were coming to look for Yeshivas for their son. I told the son, you don't have to go to Yeshiva, go to college. Take an hour out of your night and listen to my shiurim during that day. And you'll have yeshiva's YouTube, my own yeshiva on YouTube to make it a full yeshiva. We'll be introducing a musr shir and a parsha shir. I'm not sure if the parsha shir is going to be centered around musr or just more of hashkafa. I mean, hashkafa slash musr really go together. I've decided to use a contemporary sefer. Rav Chaim Kanievsky wrote the sefer. It's called... <clears throat> Let's see it backwards. I've tried to fix this. Archas Yosher is called. Um, it's a safe fair. 30 topics in Hashkafa slash Musser. Uh, I'm going to basically paraphrase what he says. Well, he quotes a lot of Chazals. You know, Rabbi Chaim Kanyaski knew Kol Tarakula. And then I'll tell you my opinion. Do you want to hear my opinion? Am I allowed to say an opinion different than Rabbi Chaim Kanyaski? I'm not going to say things different than Rabbi Chaim Kanyaski. I think I'm just going to modify and clarify where things apply and where things maybe not apply uh am i qualified to do this yeah why not i give i give 38 shiram a week so now with two more shiram we 40 that's how old i am 40 years old 40 shiram a week that's pretty darn good 40 shiram that's yeshiva's youtube i don't think in most yeshiva they have 40 shiram a week so you can get that you can watch the shiram for like an hour right an hour an hour, an hour and a half a night, and that's it. You go to college, you don't have to go to yeshiva anymore. Uh, the yeshiva is going to kill me after this because they want their $25,000 tuition fee. They're not going to be able to pay their rabbis and shut their yeshivas down. $25,000 a student. I don't know. Let's say they take in 100 students. That means that they're, they're taking in $250,000 a year each yeshiva. Just pay the money to me, you know. Pay $25,000 to me a year for the shirim that I get. I get better stuff, a lot better stuff. All right, uh, <laughs> let's get started. Um, topic of Kuvav Menalef. Tana Rabban and Chalitza Mutas Kshera. A Chalitza with, done under, mis, with a misunderstanding. I mean, someone tricks someone. It's Kasher, it's a completely valid Chalitza. She's Mutar, so Shuk. Ezu Chalitza Mutas, what's considered a Chalitza Mutas? I'm Rishtaka Kosha Omrlo, Chalotz Vakacha Takonza. The guy's an Amaharit, so you tell the guy. Take off, right? Let her take off the shoe off your foot. And <clears throat> that is the way of doing yibum, right? I'm gonna, and he tricked the guy, and he does it. And he lets her, he lets the woman take it off. And then, no, oh, too late. He did chalitza. It's okay. It's it's still valid. Rish Lakish says, I'm going to be Yochan. Rish Lakish says, Rish Lakish, Ani Shona, I have a Bryce. They both have to go on for the mitzvah They both have to go on for the mitzvah chalitza. They both have to have kavana for, not just for the mitzvah of chalitza, obviously, but for what chalitza accomplishes. And he thinks he's doing yibum. So it can't be valid. Ella, kol sha'omlo, reyokhan says a different shah, kol sha'omlo, chalutla, aminash tzidlach ma'asayim zuz. Right? She has, she hires a lawyer, and the lawyer tells the guy, let her do chalitza, let her take the shoe off your foot. She's going to give you $200. $200. Chalitza mutas kshera. Chalitza done under, right, with a misunderstanding. It's kosher. Easy chalitza mutas. Right? And obviously, she doesn't have to give the money at the end. There was a yavama. She didn't want to get do yibam to this man. She was not fitting for him. She was a beautiful woman. He was an ugly man. He was a 90-year-old man walking with a cane, sometimes falling with his cane, and his face was full of zits. 90-year-old male zits. <laughs> All right, it wasn't, it wasn't fit for her. She was a 20-year-old girl. I mean, she, she, she had the world was open to her, and the world is shidduchim, you know. She had boys calling her, you know. They were asking her out on the phone, you know. It wasn't that she was waiting for dates. I mean, this girl had 
seekers, suitors, you know, the, 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 the Bachram, the yeshiva Bachram, were leaving yeshiva and during the afternoon seder, and they were going to her house and knocking on the door and asking if they go out with this girl. I mean, this is a hogan girl. I'm, this happens a lot in Shaddok right? And I'm saying that the boys, like, they leave in the afternoon seder. You know, sometimes they go to the house, sometimes they'll call before I call the girl and say, hey, how you doing, right? You know, by the way, you're really attractive. I really want to go out with you. I'm sure a lot of guys in Yeshiva would do that. Uh, the joke, obviously, they don't do that. Um, <clears throat> so it wasn't fitting for her. It wasn't befitting for her. Amrulo, they said to him, Right? So he has people he listens to, the lawyers she hired. She'll give you $200. Just do chalitza. She obviously didn't give the money. He said, it's a kosher, it's a valid chalitza, she can marry anybody. Another incident where someone came in a rechiba rabba, I'm like, beat the amodi. Stand up and do yibam, right? I'm like, Ema Yeshivas Ima, the mother said that she wasn't responsible enough to talk for herself. Yeshivas is No, it's better for her to do chalitza over here. She'd rather sit down. She doesn't want to do even with the guy. I'm like, he said to her, Do you know this guy? I'm like, In. Mamonu de Chazala. The reason he wants to give him, he wants to take her money, right? She has a big inheritance from her husband. He wants to get the inheritance and go gamble and go to the stock market and enter his money to the stock market right now when it's a bear market and lose all his money when there's going to be a recession. <laughs> she knows about it. She knows the stock market. She knows it's going to be a bit, it's going to be a recession. I'm like, Lo Nichalach. She said to him, um, Amr Allah, he said to Lo Nichalach, so he had the rabbi ask her. He said, do you want to do even with him? Amr Allah, lo, I don't want to. Amr Allah, he tricked her. He said, yeah, let her do chalitza to you. And uh, that's the way of doing Yibam. The boss of the chalitza, after he did chalitza, she did chalitza. She took off the shoe. Amr Allah, hashta minach ifsala chalitza chalitza al yasa. Even though we passed in Rabbi Yochanan, only right, his version of chalitza mutas is kshayur. But apparently, Rabbi Shlakish's version works halfway. It works to pasla her to the achin, the process to her. Him, the only thing left to do is do chalitza. We're going to discuss more of this halfway Mechanism, like I like to talk about in Chalitza, uh, more at the end. And you know, Ben Sion, here the history of Alma, he said, and afterwards, of course, the guy was willing to do another Chalitza to monitor the old. You know, nowadays, the paper system would hold out, you make an Aguna, it would hold out for, for the guy wanted money. I mean, this is a guy that, that wanted a lot of money, so obviously, uh, he's gonna hold out for at least twenty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. All right, <clears throat> so. Okay, so uh of Papa Lo Savala Marla Hadam Rabbi Yochanan you don't hold Rabbi Yochanan. Uh I'm sorry. Okay, Baskamudra of Papa. Baskamudra of Papa Papa had you know a mother in law and the mother in law had a daughter. Obviously this is a sister in law of his. Now from the Yavim, she fell in front of a Yavim. In front of the Yavim. Her husband died. She's supposed to marry his husband, her brother, Shane Hogan Law. It wasn't befitting her. Ask me that Abaye. She came from Abaye. Now Abaye was a student of Rapapa. Amar Lei Chalzla. Abaye said to her, Do Chalitza Rukakata Konsa. I like Rapapa. Rapapa was a Rebbe of Abaye. Lo Sarah Lamar, La Hadam Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan says the proper way to Chalitza Mutas is to say, You're giving me my time Zeus. Why are you doing the rich luggage? That's Vela Heikha Emola. Amar Lei Chalzla. I'm not sure you come on the time Zeus. That's the proper way to do it. Like Rabbi Yochanan, the boss of the Chalzla, after the Chalitza was done, Amar Lei Zil Havle. Abai thought he actually has to give the money. Amr Lay Mashat and Ibach Abdullah. Her papa said, No, she was just joking around. She doesn't plan on giving the money. Milo Sani, we have a Brysa, Harish Haya Barak and Baisa Asur, and he was running away from jail. Shawshank Redemption, he was escaping jail. The Haisa Mahabra Lefanov, there was a boat, a ferry, right? The end of Shawshank Redemption, he gets a boat, I don't know, in the Bahamas or the Caribbean. Anyway, he got on a boat. He, he wanted to cross the river, the ferry. You get at to cross the river, to cross the, the bay. I don't know. I mean, he, he escaped from Alcatraz and he wants to cross uh, the bay. He wants to get to San Francisco. So, but I'm really told Dina Harani. He quoted an exorbitant price. I'll give you a Dina. I'll give you, I don't know, a hundred million dollars. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, a thousand dollars to the ferry. The ferry ride was only, I don't know, a dollar. 
Hey, Rani, ain't low el escaro. You only get a dollar. At the end of the day, you can only collect a dollar. Alma, I'm relaying my shot. I was joking around with you. Obviously, you saw I was running away to sewer, and I just quoted a ridiculous price because I wanted to get away. I didn't really mean to give it to you. Hachanam, Mishat, and Ibach. Here also, I'm joking around with you. Right? I didn't even plan on giving them a sign. So, I'm relaying Abuch, Hecha. So, upon hearing this, Abayi said to his Rebbe, Rav Papa, where's your father? I'm living Masa. He's in the city. Emach, Hecha. I'm relaying Masa. She's also in the city. She's near me. My parents live near me. Yaivo, Eni, Beshrivan. He was angry, apparently. I don't know why Abayi was angry. He was angry at Rav Papa, his Rebbe, that his parents live so close to him. I didn't, Papa didn't do anything wrong. He just quoted him the real halacha. It's very hard to understand. He was upset about it, and he sort of cursed by looking at them, focusing on the deaths of Papa's parents. He wasn't able to kill them. Uh, he didn't want his parents to be living anymore, to have such a bright student. Like Papa was jealous of him. I don't know. The price of Chalitza Mutas, Chalitza done under false pretenses, is Kshera, get Muta, Apostle. A get that was done their false pretenses is possible. Chalitza Mu'usis Sula. Chalitza that was forced is possible. Get Mu'usak Kasher. A get that was forced is Kasher. Echidami. What's the case? Either Amar Rotsani, the last case, Mu'usis, right? If it's forced, either Amar Rotsani, if at the end you force the guy and he said, I want to give it, I feel Chalitza Nami, even the Chalitza, if he said at the end, I want to do Chalitza, it should be valid. If Amar Rotsani, you get Nami low. If, if he didn't say, I want to do it, you forced the guy and he just gave a get you. You took his hand and you, you, you pushed the get into the from, from his hand into her hand. Everyone gives us puzzle. So there's not the Yom Mar Chalitza Mutas Olam Kasha. Chalitza under false pretenses is always Kasha. We get Mutas Olam Puzzle. Get under false pretenses is Puzzle. Chalitza Mousis. We get Mousa Zim and Kasha Zim and Puzzle. Something is Kasha, something is Puzzle. Had the Amarotz and he had the Amarotz. And if he says at the end, I want to, even if he was originally forced, that's good. If he doesn't say it, it's not good. The Sanya, the Bryce says Yakrav also. Right, it's time in a carbon ola. If someone doesn't have a bring the carbon ola. Yakarov also, Malamach Kopin also. Basin forces him to bring the carbon. Yakal Bakar, you might think they really can take, go, make the guy go to his barn and take an animal and literally force him, push him to the Mizbeach uh, to give it to the Kohen. No, the Gwen says, Tamalom, the Ritsono. Then the Puzzle says, the Ritsono is the Ritsono. He has to want to do it. Aki said, Kopin, and Tashi Omar Rotan. We beat him. And this is the way contemporary Allah. I think in Muncie they believe that you can, the Gemara means, Kofin Atah Shirotani, you beat him, uh, you disguise yourself as uh, as person you want to make a deal with, and you, you have the guy come to some warehouse and you beat the guy up and tell his Rotani. This is what they do in some places. You can look in the news, it's been done, I don't know, prominently in Muncie. I don't know why Muncie is the place that they do this, but in Muncie, a lot of the, the government got involved with sting operations and stopped uh, what was going on in Muncie and other places. Certain Rabbonim over there, they called one one rabbi, they called him uh, instead of the godfather, they called him the prod father. He would take an electric prod, he would try to shock the guy until he until he, he tortured the guy, until he gave he said, I'm going to give a get. Because they're probably Aguno, so they read the Gemara, they say, Kofin is what and you beat the guy with whips until the government gets involved and put you in jail. Um... <laughs> I don't think it's going to mean Kofa has such a road sign. Maybe you talk to the guy. You try to win a war of words. Not that you beat the guy. I don't think that's what it means. Uh, when it comes to a get, the guy doesn't want to give a get. She's an aguna. You force him. You force him using words. Jews use words. They don't use guns uh, or fists. Amarav, Amarav, Schor, Amarav, Huna, Cholz, and Alpisha, and Makir, and Maman, and Alpisha, and Makir, and Tekla, Bas, and Ktu Chalitza, even though they don't know. That this guy technically is the right guy for Chalitza. He's the brother of the, of the dead brother. He's the brother of the, of the deceased brother. Maybe he's some other guy, in which case it would be ineffective Chalitza. It has to be, right, that one of the brothers did Chalitza to the Yavama. We don't know who they are. We allow them to do that. And technically, if we find that after it was right people, it's valid. Then Man and Alpha Bishayim Akir, you can do Mion, right, where the woman, Katana, refuses to marry the guy, even though you don't. No, the fika in Kosin get Chalitza, Elim came out here, and Kosin get me, and Elim came out here, and the Adim who are there, they can't write us a document that said a Chalitza was done, or me was done, because part of the document is is for other Basin to know that it was actually the right people involved. Elim came out here, and the Chashim, the Basin Toen, were concerned that the first Basin went because they don't know who they are, they made a mistake, and it really wasn't the right people over here. The Chalitza wasn't done by the right to the right brother, to somebody else who's not the brother, and Shazam Mutar is a shuk. 
Nichalitz of Rav Didei Amar Rav himself holds not like Rav Schol. Rain holds not like Kemakir. Maybe mine not like Kemakir. And the base in themselves have to know. The fichach because of that's the halacha. Kosen get Chalitz of Bishem Kemakir and Kosen get Mi of Bishem Kemakir. And the Adam, even though the Adam don't know, we can rely on the base and they know they are. But look, I show the base and tell we're not chosh. The base made a mistake because the base in has to ascertain the facts. Once they ascertain the facts, so we can trust them. The Mishnah on Kol Vavam a base. Mitzvah's chalitza, how do you do chalitza? Bahu be vim to the basin, they come to a basin, right? We mentioned Sharo, it's a place they, pre, you know, they predetermined. Right? The good advice we mentioned previous in the part, in the, the parak that you should try to marry someone who's your age, right? If the Yavam is very young and the Yavam is very old, or vice versa, marry someone your age so you don't bring katata, you don't bring argument into your house. She has to say certain words. Right? She says the Yavam, the Yavam refused to raise a family in his brother's name. Loava, give me, he doesn't want to do Yibam. Who Omer? And the man also says something in the Like Torah says, he has to say, I don't want to marry the Loshana Kodesh, Omrim, the Mishnah, and so this is, these Sukkim have to be actually read it in Hebrew. Sometimes, it's like Achila, you have to say things like Tfila, but be the avid, you can say Shmon Esra even in English. Right, this is what they do. She does Chalitza and she spits in front of him. Roka Nirali Dayanim. Allah is, has to be something that the judges can see. Spit the judges can see. Obviously, nowadays, when we check the love him, right, you go, you take your microscope and you stare at it. So even if she spits a tiny, tiny bit, a tiny bit of saliva that you can barely see. And it's more than an ant, as long as you take a microscope and you look at it and you see it, it's okay. Of course we wouldn't say that, right? So if you're not going to say it over here, certainly you're not going to say by a lulav. The pasal lulav, you go and look. I don't know, it's a black dot. What do I see a black dot? I see a black dot on the, on the yellow estro. I see a black dot. Oh, 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 actually, um, no, it's a piece of my hair that fell out. <laughs> Face my beard that fell out. <laughs> All right. So the Gemara says, the um, answer of Amra, she says, the Pasuk says, she says, that's what she says. She says, this is what happens the person doesn't build his brother's house. I kind of you, Makrin. Meaning, obviously, most of the Yavim, the Yavim probably didn't know the exact words in the Torah, so therefore, the base and would just say the Hebrew words and they repeat them. The under the elm tree in Atom, place near Israel, the village of Atom. The Gomer has called Parsha. Parsha. They would actually say the Yom the Yom would say the entire Parsha that's written in the Torah. The Nikra Shmuel be Israel base Chalas Hanal. Meaning, not that they say the whole Parsha, they would just add these words. The Nikra Shmuel be Israel base Chalas Hanal. The Yom and the Yom would say this pasuk. Mitzvah Dayanim below Mitzvah Talmidim. It's a mitzvah for the Yanim to say these Pesukim. And now the Talmidim, people are watching. Review the Omer, Mitzvah Akal, Omdim Sham, Lomar, Akal, Zanal. You're right, they don't have to say the entire Parsha, but at least they have to say the last words, Chal, Zanal. Like we mentioned, that it should be publicized that a Chalitza went over here. Where it says, Amar of Yehuda, Mitzvah Chalitza, Kora, Vikore. First she says a Pasuk, then he says a Pasuk. Vikol, that's it. Then she's a Chalitza, take out the shoe. Baruch, she spits Vikora. And then she says another pasuk, Michael Mashbalon. What's the Chedish pasuk? If you go through the Mishnah, those are the five things that are done. Hakam Mashbalon, Mitzvah Achi. The Chachila, that's what you should be. Apik Lesan, Ba, but the Ebed, if you do it out of order, it's okay. Tanei Nami Hachi. Bryce, likewise, says, Ben Shehechtim Chalitza, the Rakika, Ben Shehechtim Rakika, the Chalitza, Masha Asa, Asa, even if you did the Rakika before the Chalitza. We said before in previous Mishnahs, the Psukim are not Ma'aki, but even if you did the Rakika before the Chalitza, it's okay. Amar Abai, Haman, the Makri, get Chalitza, the Likri, the Dida, the Lechude, they don't say the words when you're saying you're repeating the dayanam or saying the pasuk. So she repeats it. Say right, lo ava give me. Right, they don't say lo and they say ava give me because it sounds like no ava give me. Right, the yavam did want to. Right, you know, there's that famous joke people say no smoking allowed. People read the sign wrong. You know, they say you know oh you thought smoking wasn't allowed. No. Smoking allowed, right? You separate the words. No, smoking is allowed over here. Some people, chain smokers, that's the excuse they come up with. Um, <laughs> so the Gemara says, uh, people are going to, you know, it's going it's to be misleading. People are going to think that he wants to do Yibam. 
Demash ma ava yivmi. Sounds like he wants to. Lo ava yivmi. You should say the word, three words together. Likri le dide. And when they're saying the pasuk so that he should repeat, lo lechude, he shouldn't. They shouldn't say lo lechude chafatsi lechude. No, I want to. Right. Demash ma chafatsi lekach. And that sounds like he wants to. El lo chafatsi lekachta altogether. Rav Amar. Even if it sounds wrong, still it doesn't make a difference. It's just easier for people not to say all three words at the same time. That right? when you're telling your child the words of a bracha, if you say so many words, they're not going to get it. So it's just easier to split it into two things. Uh, people will realize that it's just the same pasta, same idea. We don't have to worry about people think. He was trying to follow this advice, Rav Kahana. And it was hard for him. He was saying three words at once. Amrle lo sabr le mar lahad the rav. Amrle you don't hold the rav. We don't worry about that. Amrle mo the rav below ava yivmi. The first part, what she says, they were worried about. People are gonna make a mistake. He wants to evil, and really it's chalitza. Amrle baye. I'm on the cause of gita the chalitza lichto of hachi. When he writes the, the actual words on the chalitza, you have to write a get chalitza. She has evidence that chalitza was done. Akra inu ledida min men yivmi arava yivmi. They they write in the document what happened. Right? We read for her the pasuk, and she repeated it after us. Man yiv me arava yiv those it says in the Torah back Reino the Dide and we repeat it to him so that he should recite min lo min lo ala kachta that's in the Pesukim lo chafasi la kachta back Reino the Dide the end we repeat it to her min kachav archalos anal until the end of the parsha Marzusha masarte the cost of the kula parsha Marzusha would actually score I learned about this in Hilchos Shulchan Aruch he would put lines and dent lines underneath to make it straight because once you do sear to it it becomes like his ve akodesh. So therefore, even though technically I'm supposed to write part of the Torah down, not the whole Torah, uh, here it'll be okay if you did sir to it. The Torah was written, in, you have to be, if you want to write down the Torah, it has to be written in its entirety. That if you score it, meaning you underline it, so it's straight, you could write part of the Torah. At least forget Chalitza. She spat. And the wind blew it away. Lost of low klum. She didn't do anything. My time. But Yaakov Afana. She has to do it in front of him. But you know, Hilka, who haruch he guts. If he's really tall and she's short, kalato aruch ika afanov. So the ever, even though the wind blows it away, when she, the second the spit came out of her mouth, it was in front of him, right? It was on the floor. It was in front of him because he's very tall. He aruch of who guts. But if she's taller than him, but you know, adamati lahadi ape has to go a little down before it's blown away. So that's in front of his face. Let's say she ate garlic and she spat out. She ate clay, dirt. I don't know if she ate dirt. She spits out the dirt. She spits out the garlic. It's very strong garlic. It has to come from saliva from herself, not spitting out something else. They have to see the spit come out of her mouth, right? Says to the eyes of the skin, and then the next pasuk says v'yarka. The nikra shmo b'yisrael based the chalat anal mitzvah the animal of talmid. The mitzvah says the mitzvah is the yana to say based chalat anal, not the talmid. And Tanya Amar Yudah by Machas Ayim Yoshim lifnei retarf. We're sitting in front of retarf and Obasta Yivam Malachot. Yivam came to do chalitza. Hamra Lanu Anu Kulchem chalat anal chalat anal chalat anal. They said say it three times. Everyone not just good enough. Everyone says chalat anal once. They say it three times. And on that note, we'll say, Hajralach Mrs. Khalitza, Hajralach Mrs. Khalitza, Hajralach Mrs. Khalitza. It's funny, when I used to learn, um, when I was younger, and I finished the parak, like we just did right now, I would be medactic to say, not just say the word Hajralach Mrs. Khalitza, but to say it three times. I don't know where this came from. I was from this Gemara, I don't know, saying three times. When we say at the end of the, when we finish the Sefer in the Torah, Chazak, Chazak, Benit Chazik. We say Chazak three times. I don't know. So here, Hajalach Mrs. Chalitza. I did it a fourth time to break the Chazaka. <laughs> Not to break the Chazaka, fourth time. It is a Chazaka. Uh, for sure, a Chazaka point to everybody. Anyway, that's the conclusion of today's share. See you in Ian with Ben Sion. We'll discuss a little more about this, uh, the two stages of Gi of Chalitza, right? Breaking the Kenyan Yiba and breaking the Kenyan Yisuan and relating that to Meshat Anibah, right? You're joking around. You don't have to pay a full fare when you're when you're running away from jail. Why not? That's the explanation. See you there. Bye.